Good afternoon. Uh, great day. Uh, fun day to call together. Um, obviously, it culminates with the scrimmage, and we're going to go spend some time with uh, the guys and their families. Um, we got a chance to meet with the parents this morning. Um, met with some some different groups. Uh, got a chance to get Coach Saban and uh, in front of the team. That was pretty cool. Um, just get a chance to see him. Uh, you know, and that's been since January, really, where that's happened. So, um, really, a lot of cool things. Uh, scrimmage wise, um, you know, shoot, if it was half, if it was a half, right, it would have been a tail of two halves. But, uh, you know, that's why I keep playing. So many things that we're going to get to learn from, from this scrimmage, um, you know, depending on what side of the ball you're on. So, I think overall, I think uh, I count, I was trying to keep track during. So, I might be off, but I think we had six penalties between the two sides which over the, what it was, 85 play, plays probably roughly. Um, kind of guessing that's that's not too bad. Uh, it's actually, you know, improved each and every scrimmage. So, you know, I'm looking at those things um, where we're, we're improving, um, you know, rushing touchdowns uh, offensively, uh, the response defensively, um, getting down early, and, uh, and some of those things. Um, you know, little things that the game brings uh, with the TV, you know, ESPN uh, broadcasting it. and us uh, have working through TV timeouts and when to take the huddle and just talking through that, you know, right now, not that big of a deal if we're out there standing over the ball, but it will be this fall, you know, and just a lot of things uh, with guys who have never had that game action, uh, starting from the quarterbacks to, you know, the rest of the rest of uh, offense and defensive sides. So, um, you know, I thought, uh, thought it was a good overall scrimmage again, both sides kind of had their moments. So questions? Start with Nick back here. Is that guys like Jam, Richard, Justin, I mean, what kind of things do you see today that have been constant throughout the spring that you weren't surprised by? Jam, Richard, um, yeah, in the backfield, running backs. So, yeah, was, uh, I thought they did a better job when they saw a hole today, they hit it. Um, you know, and especially early on, there were some, some seams and they're not dancing, which means they're getting more and more comfortable with the schemes, the trusting of the offensive line. So I thought that was something, there was uh, a couple more tackles broken. Um, which goes both ways, right? You want to see those tackles made by the defense. There's more tackles broken early on in the scrimmage than what I've seen. We've been pretty sure with our tackling up until the early part of the scrimmage today. So and then they responded and did a better job. On the right with Alex. How do you think Ty Simpson did today in terms of just command of the offense performance and just overall that back of quarterback position? How do you yeah. see the growth this spring? Yeah, I mean, you saw he does a great job back there. You know, you got full confidence. Uh, with a lot of those guys back there, but Ty, I thought again, you know, he's just been consistent, you know, and gotten better um, throughout the spring. Um, never really had any drops in, in uh, each and every practice. So, I mean, you, you know, see what he does out there, and he's accurate. He knows when to put touch on it. I saw the one ball on my deep crosser. Um, you know, he's got good awareness. I thought all the quarterbacks did a better job um, of pushing the pocket at the right time. Um, that's something I know we've been emphasizing. Rather just sit back there and let that rush on the edges get to you. You know, he had a good feel in all those ways. Um, I think he's got a command of the offense for sure. Up front with Kennington, same size. We saw the two young guys, Olaus and Rock, kind of working at different positions across different groups. What did you see from them today? How, what are you seeing from them throughout the spring as they've been moving around? Yeah, you know, and that's what we needed to do. Um, a little bit out of necessity, just with guys getting dinged up uh, and just being careful too, uh, with guys maybe that been dinged up and just limited the number limiting the number of snaps up front. Um, but it was good for those guys to work in um, because you do see a difference with the execution. Let's talk the offensive line uh, when one or two new guys are inserted. You know, there's just a little bit another level of communication. So, you know, these are the moments you want to do that. When we come this fall, we get into the, into the season, we're playing games. Um, you know, you want to have to be able to count, look back and, and count on these moments where, you know, those guys were inserted. Um, you know, I had to do some, do some, do some things where it was different groups working together than really any of the scrimmages that we've had. So, um, good learning moment for you know not just them but the off offensive line in general working together. Middle with Nick. We saw Jahan and Jaheim out there uh, in pad that didn't go through uh, the scrimmage today. So, what's their size and how are they doing? Yeah, they're doing good. Uh, if we had another week, for sure, if we had two weeks, but if we had another week of spring ball. Um, by the end of next week, I think, again, I'm not the, not the one that clears them, but I think they'd probably be both really close to being ready to go. So um, you just want to be careful, you know, and not, not push it. Um, you know, uh, we don't want to set them back 
and uh, they're right on pace. So uh, they're right where right where we expected to be based on what they each had, which are you know completely different types of injuries. Charlie. Hey, Coach, um, with Jeremy Bernard coming in, how have you seen him adjust over the course of spring? What did you think of the day he had today? Yeah, I think he had a great day. I'm not sure if it was him right at the end there, uh, like to rake rick that one in, but, um, you know, he just, you know, you saw right away um, the one that sticks out to me where it was the catch and contact. He went high point of the ball, and um, that was him, right? I was trying to, yeah, he was way down the field. I thought it was him. Sometimes I'm watching a lot of things, but, um, you know, I thought that was, a, you know, that's what he does. You know, he's a physical guy. He uh, the ball's up in the air, it's his. Uh, he's got that mindset. Um, I think the guys, the quarterbacks in particular, really believe in him. And, uh, you know, he's been, you know, just, you know, he's a leader because that's just naturally what he what he does. Um, but, you know, he's just really tried to work in with the receiving core, become one of them. And, uh, you know, he had some opportunities today and took advantage of him. He's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's going to be a, a good one for us, that's for sure. Okay, we'll go Joe Goodman and then Chase. Cameron, how does uh, spring football in Alabama compare to Sioux Falls? <laughs> well, we go back so far, um, we couldn't even get to the point where you could go full pads back then uh, with the rules. So there was no the spring game was uh, was thud tempo, and um, you know, so there's a lot of a lot of differences. So whatever, was 70, 70 plus thousand. Yeah, whatever, 72, 72, 72 yeah. thousand. Um, we're just shy of that uh, there, uh, but uh, you know um, the cool thing is football is football, and what you see is uh, at all the places you're at, um, guys that love to get out there, and, um, you know they're excited about their opportunity to go out and make plays and play the game they love. But um, this was a special day, special day. Chase, coach, early in the scrimmage, Jalen Milrow hit a couple of deep shots for touchdown drives that were really quick, just a few plays. The other quarterbacks scoring touchdowns, more methodical, 10 plays, 14, I think one of them. Um, did Jalen show that ability all spring to go 70, 80 yards, kind of like that with the deep shot? I think it's come along for all the quarterbacks, so that would mean, you know, with Jalen too, it's, it's something that's progressed throughout the spring. Um, I don't think any any of our, you know, guys, because uh, it's, it's just timing, it's confidence, it's read progressions and things like that and identifying and, uh, and, you know, there's my one-on-one, -on -one. there's a the guy where to put the ball. Um, so I think it's, it's been something that's gotten to this point and it was great to see him, you know, continue to take that next step and have that progression. So uh, the last week or two, I think that's been pretty consistent, you know, early on. I can't say any of the quarterbacks were just getting dialed in and, and uh, those plays were being made. So um, that's what got the offense to a hot start, you know, with the scrimmage is those explosive plays. And, and I love that we can come out of the locker room and you know the kickoff happened, and we're ready to go. You know, throw, catch. I thought protection. Um, you know, especially in the first half to three quarters, uh, the protection was as good as we've had. Um, now, some of that's attributed to early on, um, just kind of being a little bit more maybe vanilla defensively, things like that. Um, so, uh, you know, with the offense stayed ahead of the chains, stayed in, pos in positions where you know they could be dual threat, run pass options. Um, you know, take your shots when they were there. Chris Lowe. Hey, Kayla, you've, uh, you've got one spring under your belt here at Alabama. So what's resonated most about this place to this point, this team, and, and the challenge that lies ahead for you guys? Yeah, you know, I think today was probably the day um, where it just really felt, you know, you know, seeing the guys come on the walk um, of champions, just, um, just seeing that and feeling the energy and the excitement of what it would be on a Saturday, um, you know, that was a lot of fun. And be in the locker room, uh, just the excitement, you know. And um, you know, even today out there, I thought the guys, as hard as they're playing, um, I mean, there was times where when they were out there just looking out for each other too. Uh, I don't care if it was, you know, offense, offense, defense, defense, but most importantly, offense and defense. You know, playing the game the way it's supposed to be played, um, and uh, you know, the energy, wanting to go out there and make the plays, but also not putting the team at risk of, you know, um, just to go out and make that one potential play that could put someone at risk. But uh, the energy, the excitement kind of leading up to uh, the spring game um, was something I think kind of hit me today. John Zinger. Along the same line, I think you had a couple thousand more than Husky Stadium holds, and that's for the spring game. Did you ever kind of look around and say, well, I'm on the football. You knew it was kind of a big deal, but was it kind of fun to see that in person? Yeah, I think, um, you know, caught 
caught that a little bit, I think, early on, just, uh, you know, enjoying that moment. Um, and I think as much as anything, trying to make sure the guys did too. And so, you know, you take it in when you're, when you're the other side of the guys, hey, enjoy this moment. You know, you guys worked hard for this. And for a lot of these guys, this is their first spring game as well, their first heyday. So uh, a lot of freshmen and transfers. And so, you know, I made sure that, you know, they, they relish this uh, this day, and uh, you know when you say those things, uh, you do it yourself as well. Two more, Tony and Kate. I know these things kind of go both ways, but no turnovers as an offensive guy. Is that something that you kind of say fill in? Um, yeah, I mean that would have been the difference probably in the scoring. Um, that's usually with the scoring system we use, where you get the takeaways and the, the scoring evens up in a hurry. Um, the offense has done a pretty good job. Um, I don't think any of the scrimmages. The quarterbacks threw a pick in all three of them. Now there was times when the ball was on the ground, um, and a couple of scrimmages. So um, you know, defense, it, you know, flying around um, has caused uh, some turnovers uh, throughout the throughout the spring, and uh, got their share of uh, interceptions uh, in our different scrimmages that we've had that weren't part of the big three when we're when we're live. Um, so you know, when when it matters most, uh, I guess you know you're you're proud, and and I noticed some ball security too. You know that. Uh, that I was impressed with. I think that's come a long way as I watched a drill on Thursday uh, in particular where, you know, it's a circuit that we run and the ball security for, for these guys. And, you know, you kind of hammer and scream at him uh, over and over for 15 practices. And you're like, man, I don't know if they're getting it, but you can see on Thursday, you know, how far we've come if you tip flip the film on from that drill compared to the first day. Finish up with Katie in the back row. You hit on this a little bit in your opening, but what did you like about the response from the defensive side of the ball after they got down 31 to nothing? It's a little harder for them to score in this format. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, and really just not worried about the score. Uh, and I heard that uh, on that side, just not worried about just continue to get better and uh, be in the moment, you know, um, get the guys on the ground when they, when they had the chance to tackle and, uh, you know, just play the next play. And we said, we talk in terms of a one and oh mindset. So win the next rep. And uh, they, they did that more, uh, you know, than the offense did in the second part of the scrimmage. I think the flip side is, is there were some easy plays the offense just needs to make, catch the ball in particular. And, uh, you know, um, for whatever reason, you know, uh, those are some great learning moments that we will carry into the summer, uh, you know, on both, both sides. You know, why you don't stop playing and why you got to keep your head uh, and keep the focus and stay locked in uh, for the entire time you're on the football field. All right, Coach, thank you. All right, thank you. Roll Tide. Okay.